when you become a defender, you have become a loser. This is all the good general, please, if you want. And the table of contents. It says in Joshua chapter 6, verse 1, Jericho, huh, a fenced town with high walls, and amplified, was shut up because of the children of Israel. No one went in, no one came out. So Jericho was surrounded with walls and gates, and they were going to fight. And who lost? Who, lo who loses? Every time you are defending, you are losing. So when Hitler was going to invade Europe, they built Hitler built a wall, the whole of Europe around. <laughs> but in the in the end, he lost. So every defender defending always means losing. So even now we see some wars going on. The ones who are defending themselves are losing ground losing territory losing cities losing do you see so you always have to be attacking yes so when the enemy so as you keep on saying well i'm preventing this i'm preventing this i'm preventing this in the end you see that you've done it so as you sit at home trying to prevent pornography before you realize you've done it so you should have gone out on altry to win souls do you see and as you move out to rather break down the kingdom of darkness you get it it's like the, the whole idea of you even falling doesn't even come in because you are out there fighting and winning so once you become a defender you start losing so that's why we must rather be increasing going on outreach every church that stays there trying to prevent its members from losing going away the church gets smaller and smaller your church will be smaller and smaller. You are trying try to prevent them from leaving. People will leave anyway. There's always a percentage of people who are leaving a church. They come and they go. They, they see it almost like a little kiosk or even a, a supermarket, a shell shop. You just pass through and go away. They don't, they don't have any commitment. So once you sit down, right, defending just what you have, it starts reducing. That's why when we move and we started the first love church, even though the Kodesh is there and the other churches are there, this one, it has become a, 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 a more members here. And so, every, so as we keep up, since the pandemic, we have expanded more. We're not sitting down just defending ourselves against whatever attacks. We have been advancing. That is where we decided to build more, do more churches, community churches, different things all over. So the church has actually rather grown. And we are now establishing the flow church. That's the flow church that we are in right now. So it's like, you once you start defending, you start losing. So those of you who say, I'm going to prevent myself from doing this. I'm going to prevent myself from doing it. Have you not noticed that? In the end, what? You are doing it. But as you stand, sir, I won't fornicate again. I won't fornicate him. Before I realize what? It's happened three times. Yes. I won't do this again. I won't do this again. And it's happened. Rise up and come for the prayer meeting. Rise up and arrive for the prayer meeting. Change your life. And the enemy will be shocked to see you at a prayer meeting. Say, hey, something is going on. Instead of sitting in the house trying to defend. Oh, yes. Lift your hand. Pray. You'll never be a, a loser again. And you'll Jesus. never be a defender. Yes. Lifting your holy hands.